same. I have helped over 50 people at this point become doctor. I've been doing this since I was a student myself. I started this in 2016, helping people understand qualitative research, helping them to write. And this is my jam, y'all. This is my superpower. All I need, and listen, I'm gonna toot my own horn. I just need like a 10 or 15 minute conversation with you and I promise you your whole process will be different. But I get that not everybody wants to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, so we are gonna do this on live. I hope you have your notebooks and your pens ready because I'm gonna give you some information. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give you the same information I give clients that I work with every week. It is going to be simple. You are going to say to yourself that, oh, it's too simple, that's not gonna work for me, my problems are too complicated. And I'm going to tell you that if you're not doing these three things that I'm gonna teach you, then you're not a special snowflake friend. That is really coming down to three things. But before I tell you those three things, I'm gonna tell you probably why you think you're so frustrated or like this isn't working. You might be ready to call it quits when it comes to this dissertation, get you enrolled in another semester. So let's do this. Number one, a lot of you think you need motivation to execute your dissertation goals. A lot of you think that like, if you had more motivation, if you were inspired, if you could just hear that perfect thing, if you can go watch this perfect video, that it will make all the difference. That if you have motivation, you would put words on a page every day. If you have motivation, maybe your emotion is not motivation because motivation is an emotion. But maybe your emotion is not motivation. Maybe your emotion is confidence. You feel like you lack confidence, right? You might say, oh, it's imposter syndrome. That's the reason why I just second guess every time I go to write words on a page or my chair or somebody else in your program told you you were an offer writer and so now you like i don't have the confidence it's been shot down and you have been looking outside of you to try to find the motivation and the confidence to put words on a page right listen i'm i'm only telling you what i did as a student y'all i would go and look for the best motivational videos because i was like this is the reason why i'm gonna get pumped up to write like i used to listen to eric thomas Every day, on repeat, never fails. Every time I went to go write, because I was like, he's going to give me the inspiration and the motivation to write. But listen, y'all, even after hours of watching those videos, I did not feel any more like writing than I did when I first started. The only difference is like hours had passed and I was sitting in the same spot with no words on the page. It is not motivation. Motivation is a lie. It is a lie told to you by I don't know who. But it's a lie. If you go ask your favorite academic top people who write day in and day out, do they feel motivated to write? They're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you that most days they do not feel like writing. Most days they do not have the motivation to write. And they may say something like, well, I just forced myself to just show up anyway. And you're like, well, I don't know how to do that. And it's because you keep thinking that you have to feel a certain way in order to write. Like you think that you have to have all the like inspiration and the confidence and the motivation. Like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. And then I, you'll be able to write. And for some reason, a lot of people think, oh, once I become doctor and I graduate and I'm on that stage and my mom and them there and they, they've given me the hood and whatnot and I have the party that then I'm going to be so confident that anytime I need to show up and write, I'm going to be able to write. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true because you can go ask your chair, you can go ask anybody that you know who is finished and especially if they're still actively writing and publishing, they will tell you they don't ever feel like it. Every once in the blue moon, they may feel like it. But most day in and day out, every week, they do not feel like it. It is because they have established a writing practice. When I'm using the word practice, you can substitute that for a habit or a routine. It is because they are someone who is like, it doesn't matter if I feel like it. It's just something that I do. It's just a part of who I am. In the same way that a lot of people... I don't have to think about it, which I don't know who these people are because I have to think about this every morning. But for, in the same way that people wake up and they go brush their teeth, it's just a habit. It's just what they do. Writing needs to be the same way. In the same way, I don't know, you stop by Star Starbucks and you get your favorite drink and you know all the, the changes. It's like, you know, I want oat milk and sub this and extra hot shots and make sure like the way you know it's a habit. You don't even have to think about when you give your favorite order at Starbucks or your favorite order at, I don't know, Chipotle. Where do people go? I just mostly go to Starbucks, right? But you have an order or Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I've, whatever your place is, 
you don't even have to think about it because it's just a habit. I want you to think about writing in the same way. What if you treated writing as a habit, as something that just is a practice, but what that requires is a routine. But I'll tell you how to have one in a minute. But let me pause and look at this comment. Some folks listen to ET. I'm ready for daily dose of Dr. Lacey telling me to write a shitty paragraph. Come on. Yes, listen, Danielle. Listen, ET, I get it. He ain't for everybody. He be yelling. He be doing a lot. I get it. But I appreciate you because if you don't think I yell too much, that just gives me all the all the good juju. <laughs> so I appreciate you. But yes.